Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Tech Alberta, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to pretty much play Dolphin games in your VR headset, which is going to be a pre pretty strange video, to be honest. So this doesn't really work as well yet as it's not really been optimized too much. I don't think there's been a lot of research into it. But what we have to really do is we just have to open up this menu and then you have to go to library. And then if you just go to remote desktop, it'll just be in there. So you just have to open that up and then download the meta application on your PC. So I will just show you that real quickly. So what you want to do is you do just want to download uh, whatever version you're using. So that would be um, the one for Windows or the one for um, Mac OS. So yeah, you just download the Windows one like I did. And then you can go here and then you just click here as well. You just have to go and type in Meta, Meta Quest Remote Desktop. Just set that up. And then it'll be really simple. All you have to do is just go in the VR headset and just start casting. And um, you just want to make sure you have this open and log you're logged in and everything. And then you go onto your headset, which we will go back onto now. If we just go back onto the browser real quick, just there. And then we can just click here and then we can go to remote desktop and then it will allow us to do one that will just click connect. But I'm not going to do that because I'm actually using the casting feature on the VR headset. But yeah, we'll jump over to that now. And I'll show you how to get set up on Dolphin and we'll do a little kind of example. Okay, so we're now on the computer. The weird thing is um, uh, you can't actually use your hands to control anything. Like in, from my point of view, I've got these um, little icons or these um, pointers telling me where to go. But I can't actually use them on the computer screen. That's why I use a different application, which I will show in a separate video. But if we go over to... So if we just go off this, right... Here we've got our controller settings just for Dolphin. So, you know, I've set everything up. I'm using a Xbox controller. If we just save that and then, oh, well, we don't need to save. We can just go off of that. And then we can play Smash Melee. If we just configure it, just turn the audio down because it's, it's quite a loud game I usually find. So we put it down to about 50%. There we go. We just load it up just like so. And you can play your Dolphin games in VR. It's, it's quite cool, actually. It's awesome i don't actually play a lot of games on dolphin on the pc which many people uh, especially friends of mine were quite shocked about um but i just simply don't really play a lot on here i usually play on um asus rock ally so yeah, if we do a regular match there's a tiny bit of delay which is the problem and i think this will definitely get better in the future but so i'm not going to be able to perform particularly well but I'm just going to example this game real quick. So let's play... Um, who can I actually play in Smash now? Let's just play Link, because, you know, why not? We'll do three stock battle, why not? Okay. But yeah, so we'll just do a couple of these real quick, and I'll just example it for the for the video. But it, it, definitely, it definitely works, you know. Oh, I can't even... How do you... Okay, I'm using an Xbox controller. This is incredibly hard. And then, I don't know if you guys can see the delay or anything, but I cannot even control this shit. This is so bad. Oh my god. So Y and X are for jumping, which is good. And all my damages, there we go. We got them. But yeah, th there's a bit of delay. It's not the best, but it's alright. We'll do another game real quick. We'll um, just show this off. But well, we can play our... Um, Dolphin games in VR. There is a USB-C input on this thing and output. So hopefully, if you're at all into, if you want to try this out or do this yourself, then absolutely, you know, do give it a go uh, with a wired connection. But I wouldn't recommend doing this with a wireless connection because it just does simply not work very well. Right. Okay. Let's. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm actually. <laughs> There we go. We got him. Sweet. But yeah, um, you know, my whole point here is like the the issue with I believe Dolphin Emulator is oh we're up. We got to hit the target stage. Nice. But um, I think my issue really kind of boils down to like I do not think I don't think a lot of these solutions work, especially with VR. You know, using Dolphin, like playing, um, playing things like Dolphin in VR yet don't really work too well. 
but I believe in the future, you know, they're going to improve, etc. I think Dolphin definitely needs to make their own um, VR-based thing. Like, you can play, like, Wii Sports Resort in, like, VR chat and stuff, but, yeah, it doesn't work nearly as well. But anyway, that was just a little demo to show you how well this works. It's all right. There's a tiny... There's a slight input delay, but that's because it's got a feed uh, what's on the screen to my VR headset. But yeah, it's not too bad. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next one because I'll hopefully be back on the weed tutorials by then. We've had a bit of an issue recently where the Elgato, um, what was it the Elgato cord? Uh, when I was renovating this room recently, the whole cord has just gone missing. And now like none of my USB ports work because it's not... Um, they believe something to do with the correct speed. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace out.